What's this? Uh, this is Earth in the year 2013. Mind the detail here. It's 2013 BC. Now that's the past. So going into the future and coming here to the present, we land up on Earth in 2013 AD. This looks something like that. So the past and the present Earth are pretty much falls apart, and obviously the older one is better. And we need to make the current one more like it. So you'll probably be thinking. Why should I care what this one looks like? What I do care about is how my world looks like. And it looks like this. And I am happy with it irrespective of the fact that forest cover has decreased by 72 million hectares from 1990 to 2005. The carbon dioxide levels have increased to 396.8 parts per million this year. Blah 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 and all that shit. But are you aware of the impending crisis? It's not a crisis per se, but nothing was either. The world isn't gonna end and neither are zombies gonna, you know, zombie fires and we aren't gonna die. We live. We live sad, short lives with diseases and be poor and sad. Why? Because of our existing lifestyle. We need to mend our environmentally unfeasible ways. And as hard as that sounds, it's pretty easy. And, and you know, we need to, you know, pardon the cliche, but we need to go green. Not just to make the earth look all beautiful and nice and green and blue and prim and proper, but also to increase our own lifespan and save tons of money. Let me give you an instance. Research reveals that you lose 21 minutes of your life per hour you spend in front of a screen, be it a TVs or a PCs or your smartphones. However, it also reveals that many of us who have access to these gadgets spend up to 4 hours a day in front of them. That means you lose an hour and 24 minutes a day. So if you reduce your electricity consumption, you will increase your lifespan, save money and you know, as a bonus, save the earth. Check what? But uh, how is that? Well, let me explain. Electricity comes from thermal power plants. If every household in the city reduces its consumption, there will be an overall decrease in the demand, supply and hence the level of greenhouse gases emitted by these plants. So what else harms the earth? Gases from automobiles? But then using automobiles as opposed to bicycles for covering nearby distances takes a toll on the environment and on your pocket too. Prefer a bike. It saves money and is eco-friendly. Besides, it's great for your figure, health and getting a date to Monica's party too. With the skyrocketing prices of fuel, I'm sure you'll regret going to the nearby grocery in your car when you're old, fat and alone with lung diseases as your only company. Similarly, while poly bags are available in all sizes, are handy and come in a range of colors, but not that it has got anything to do with their utility, uh, they're not very lucrative when you think of their disposing options. They either end up in the sewage, are swept into the sea and kill cute dolphins and polar bears, turning you into a serial killer. Or they are just burnt, release some poisonous gases that can kill others and you, turning you into a serial killer with suicidal tendencies. Jute and cloth bags are better because they are more reusable, increasing their cost efficiency as compared to poly bags in the long run. Also, they can't send you to jail unless of course you try to strangle someone with them in which case you are more likely to use rope. It's actually a better idea. So when we talk about being eco-friendly here, we aren't asking you to burn your dog's poo to create biogas or insist on carrying 4 kilograms of veggies in your hands without a poly bag. We're just providing you easy and convenient methods to well, not enough thinking like dog poo. The first thing that many of us think is, others are throwing garbage on the road too. What difference does it make if I don't? I am just one person after all. Uh, let's call this the rationality complex, however irrational and ironic as it sounds. Well, uh, let me tell you a story. Once a man saw a boy throwing a starfish into the sea and asked him what he was doing. The boy replied that he was saving the life of the starfish, which, if left on the beach, would die. The man 
reply that he couldn't make a difference because there were millions of starfish on beaches around the world who were dying. The boy, the boy calmly replied, I did make a difference for that one. See, that's the attitude you've got to keep. But that's easier said than done because everything is easier said than done. I'm just kidding. Thing is, everything inside us has this improvement. Happiness takes effort and we'd rather sit and slack around and make fun of this video rather than get up to do some work. You also think that others might make fun of you if you did. The friends might call you funny names or stuff. But that's them expressing their fear because trashing other creation is an excuse to do nothing yourself. Why should I create anything when others' creations suck? I could have written a novel by now but I'll wait for something good. I don't want to write the next twilight, you know. As long as they never produce anything, and if they do make something, they'll make it intentionally bad to make it clear to everyone that this isn't their real effort. Their real effort would have been amazing. Not like the shit you made or did. And then in the end, all criticism boils down to creation. People might say, you're boring, your wit sucks, you're a bunch of self righteous asses. Stop making videos. See that? Just actually hear that but don't ever just hear that don't be that person it makes others hate you and you hate yourself instead of, you know stand up to all that criticism because in the end the payoff is fabulous a long life you save money you live on a beautiful planet and you feel so good after doing something productive and beneficial for your kids too so back to the topic you can't be afraid of what others will think if you do something eco-friendly or whether it will really make a difference if you throw that wrapper in the dustbin. You know that it will make a difference. And talking about others' opinions, those who mind don't matter and those who matter don't mind. So you just got to incorporate easy activities like biking to nearby places, throwing garbage in bins, bathing with buckets, not using poly bags, etc. into your daily life.